Hey everyone, I asked you guys where I should go next. You suggested I come here to Pontins Canberra Sands. It's been getting a lot of bad press across the UK recently and even worse TripAdvisor reviews. I headed down to Canberra Sands to go and check it out. Just left open and there's even a, a petrol can. Zena's Wildlife Garden. Oh, there's a pond. Just thrown in with old sofas and old mattresses. Uh, I just got that off of my finger. That's brown. Don't know what that is. That looks like blood. I tell you, this fridge has seen better days. You look at that the amount of bacteria growing in there. Is that mold? It's like rust on there. The rust theme continues on the spoons. Yeah, it's loose. Why that's going to come down on somebody's head? So I'm in. Block 33, apartment number 430. I've come on a very quiet Sunday, so it will give me time to explore the park. Number 33. And when it rains, I would not want to stand under here. You can see the drain pipe has literally come away there. So obviously it literally comes down the wall. So that's probably going to cause damp, isn't it? In those people's apartments. 432, here we are, 4.30. And once again, what greets me is um, what looks like, blimey. That is loose. Why, that's gonna come down on somebody's head. Let's have a look in the room then and see what we get. Do you know what, first impressions? Doesn't look too bad. So this time I've decided to go for a one bedroom apartment. If you watch my last Pontins video, I went for just a one bedroom and that was kind of all in. So this is a one bedroom apartment, so it's got a separate bedroom, obviously bathroom and a little bit of a living space and kitchen too. I'll tell you what, first impressions, doesn't look bad, but let's have a further look. Sofa test, oh, ow, that hurt. You're gonna sit on this sofa, sit right in the middle, not right at the end where there's a big, what seems to be a wooden post. I think someone's been eating biscuits on here because it's absolutely full of crumbs. In fact, it's quite gross. All right, so I can actually make, ah, oh, this, I guess this does pull out into a bed, but you can obviously have it a little bit more slanted or a little bit more higher up. How do you put it back though? I don't know. On the face of it, it doesn't look too bad as we walk into the kitchen. Tell you what, nice view. Let's check the kettle out. It's nice that they've actually left me a little bit of water. Kettle doesn't look too bad actually, and neither does the toaster. In fact, that looks almost like a, a newish toaster. This though has seen better days. I mean, you can just see all the grime on there from past bits of cooking. It's also rusting badly, and it's like, that's like rust on there. Look at that, I'm pulling the rust off. So obviously when you cook on there, that's gonna obviously burn. Someone's a bit of food. Do I dare open the oven? If that hasn't been washed up very well, so that's gonna need washing up, got bits of grease on it. I don't understand how or why, but the fridge is like rusting. I didn't even know a fridge could do that. And I can tell you this fridge has seen better days. If you look at that, the amount of bacteria growing in there. Is that, is that mold? Dear, I don't think I'd want to put my stuff in this fridge. The freezer bit isn't shut properly. There's also a bit of a smell in there too. The microwave's been left open, looks fairly clean. Bowls, still bits of dirt on them. Cups, they're clean, which is nice. What else is in here? Ah, electric meter, nothing. Cutlery drawer, tell you what, straight away, I open up the cutlery drawer, look. The rust theme continues on the spoons. I know these are stainless steel, but I don't know if you can see that. That is definitely rust on the spoons. 
on the forks, in the fork drawer as well, even a little bit on the spoons. That's not overly that great. I have to pay for electric, but I get a free bin bag. The frying pan doesn't, well, that doesn't look good, but there you go, you're not cooking on that, are you? There's a random mirror. You don't get many mirrors in a kitchen, though, do you? Shame there's no uh, light bulb there. We've got a wardrobe um, in the living room instead of the bedroom. That's all right, once again, some free hangers. Let's check out the bedroom. Do you know what? It doesn't smell too bad. The same problems that I've seen in other places is the stainage on the bed. Not overly nice. These are supposed to be clean, but there's a, there's a stain on there. I'm noticing a theme in this room. There are like, this is the mattress, right? Look at all the crumbs. It's like someone's been eating biscuits like everywhere. Random. There's, it's, it's all over the bed. There's crumbs, it feels like, look, grit. Let's do a smell test. I hate that when you can smell like other people's cologne. Similar problems with mattresses, those stains, that's, that's been cut. And it actually, it feels like there's grit all on the mattress. So I've just turned this mattress over and I'm sure that they turn it onto the better side because as you turn it over, you can see the stains. There's more stains there, not pleasant. I've seen some reviews that when you come here and it's a little bit cold, these heaters aren't that great. I mean, it's obviously uh, seen better days. That looks like blood. Cosmetically, there's chips in the wardrobe. That is freaking me out. That looks like some kind of squished bug. Another mattress there. Let's go check out the bathroom. And uh, it's a pretty clean bathroom, actually. I can't say there's uh, any problems with it. A little bit crack ceiling, but the bath doesn't overly look too bad. Yeah, there's uh, some scuff marks in the bath, but dirt on the bath. And there's a, uh, I just got that off of my finger. That's brown, don't know what that is. So obviously I might need to uh, give that a clean. So obviously that's the hot water tank and you've got to turn it on with the electricity. There's no toilet holder, but the toilet rolls are there. And they do give you toilet rolls, which is good. Apart from the bath being a little bit grimy in places, the bathroom is okay. One downside, there's no hot water. The hot water tank will take approximately 60 minutes to heat up. Please be aware that the size of the hot water tank in each apartment is not the same as found in a four bedroom house. Take the chairs off. When I welcome guests, they can sit down. Do you know what, I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this, but that room wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Should we go and check out the rest of the park? Because I've got my map here. And what's really cool about this park is the fact that they've got go-karts and dinosaur land. That should be interesting. There's also a skate park, crazy golf, and loads more. Let's go and check it out. All right, which way do I go? Because actually I can, if I wanted to, walk all the way around. We'll do that to get a little bit of definition, shall we? on this uh, block where I'm staying in. Obviously kept the paint up a little bit. It's like I'm in the yellow zone. The only thing is, if you don't keep your curtains shut, people will see right into your rooms. Oh, this is called the yellow zone. How random, there's a mop head there. So entertainment is all up this way. There's a swimming pool up that way. There's a higher time and supermarket. The leisure zone and the go-karts are in this direction. And they do seem to have a problem with gulls here. Please do not feed the gulls. They are not hungry, they are just greedy. And they are everywhere on the park, obviously being by the sea, you expect that. So some of these are a bit mean almost dive bombing me. Maybe it's the color of my t-shirt, I don't know. So they're looking a little bit rusty. You can tell they were pretty cool when they were first put up and uh, made to look kind of uh, the park a little bit more showbiz. So you can't get lost, there's signs everywhere. In fact, before we go to the, the main park, it says here leisure zone 
and go-karts. And what's quite handy is all the uh, apartments are actually colour coordinated, so it's easy to find your apartment block. But straight away, compared to other ponting sites that I've been to, at the moment, yeah, it looks a little bit dated, but does it look that bad? It must be changeover day or something, but the fact there's just people's, what could be their duvets for the night, maybe they're used, I don't know, but they're just kind of just left. There's some more actually up there as well. And I don't know why I keep seeing these sponges everywhere, but look, you can see into people's rooms. Must be very quiet because half of these are not um, full up with people. The chalets are very dated though. Looks like there's like loads of clothes just shoved in there. It's just sitting out here on the green. There's another one there. Oh, so I've never been here before, but I can tell that these signs are pretty new. I guess this is um, a car park. And coming into view, I think a new addition on the park, Jurassic Kingdom by these lovely big recycling container things which is always lovely to see on holiday park in fact um yeah just yeah, just thrown in with old sofas and old mattresses you know welcome to your holidays in fact there's a there's one unopened could have that i'll probably give it a miss but bearing in mind you see that as you walk up to something new kind of ruins it a little bit so this is Dinosaur Land and the go-karts up here. Is this crazy golf? Or is this just like a little, uh, oh, I think it's like a play park, isn't it? That's pretty good, actually. All the dinosaurs in here, look. So it's just a little area where there are dinosaurs and information about them. I don't think they move. Not to scale, Tyrannosaurus rex. It's quite interesting actually. So it's not really a play park, it's just somewhere to walk around. Please do not go beyond this point or touch the dinosaurs, they will bite. <laughs> now if that moved every so often, that would actually be quite good. So just taking a look at the map where we are right now, obviously we're uh, here in dinosaur land. I'll quickly check out the go-karts and then of course, I will head to the main venue. It's quite a long walk. So if you're wondering why it looks deserted, it's because I've arrived on a Sunday uh, for a Sunday night visit. And I think there's been uh, some event on this weekend and obviously they've all gone home, so it's probably change over day. So these are the, uh, the go-karts. Are they running? Have they been running at all? Where do they actually store the go-karts? That's the question. Obviously, take them out. Now, bearing in mind, I know it's currently shut, but I can't see, unless they take all the go-karts out, but uh, the fact that uh, this is just left open, and there's even a, a petrol can in there, and some electrics, there's no light. I don't know if this has been running for a while. I could be wrong. Let us know in the comments if you've actually seen this running, but today it doesn't look like it's been um, used in a while. I could be totally wrong. I will have to ask somebody. If you're liking the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too and give the video a thumbs up. That's obviously used to get you in the pit lane. Good to know they're health and safety conscious. That's just laying on the floor. So randomly just come across Xena's Wildlife Garden. Looks uh, a little bit um, interesting <laughs> and completely full of wildlife because, uh, well, I guess it's supposed to be like this, overgrown. Quite a small little area. Tree there in blossom. What are they, bins? Guess so. 
what wildlife can we see in this garden? Let us know in the comments. Oh, there's a pond. <laughs> there is a pond that looks completely and utterly overgrown. This might actually be left like this on purpose. I don't know. There's even something there for the birds. Let us know in the comments. Maybe this is just storage. Doesn't overlook that nice, does it? So just notice these, never a good sign when you see things to catch mice and rats. But I guess it's good they're doing something. Wow, don't see that very often. Free table to play ping pong. I can hear some music, so I must be close. As I've always said with any pontins that I've been to, you can't knock the entertainment. Inflatable zone. There's a crazy golf here as well, which looks all right. Needs a little bit of weeding, but other than that, looks good. The main complex is just there in front of me. And in every pontins, they have a Queen Victoria or the Queen Vic. They've got music playing in here, I might have to mute it. Reminds me of the weather screens actually. Just outside of the Queen Victoria is a little place where you can get some food, some takeaway stuff. And there's a big show bar. Is this open? It is. Again, you can never knock the, uh, the entertainment at Pontins. I think this is obviously where bingo must be going on a little bit later. So it looks like the signage is a lot better on this park than other Pontins I've gone to. Oh, I've just noticed. Let's see if this is out of order compared to every single one I've ever seen at a Pontins. It doesn't look like it didn't say it's out of order. Who knows? Let's have a walk into the main room, shall we? This is reception as well. Wow, this looks good. Holiday sales, pre-book your holiday whilst you're here. Seeming's good. Amusements. Theme is actually really good. Look at that. It's like a boat with the cannons at the bottom. That's actually the reception. So this is the main room. Let's go and check it out. In fact, if we go that way, main entertainment hall, fun factory this way. Now, which way should we go? No, actually, we've got this way where the lights are. You can hear the bass. I think they've got an event going on today. So this is where the skate park and the urban gym is. Well, at least the skate park is uh, open and there's an outside gym for you to work out. Some of these I know how to work, others I don't. And they do have instructions on them though. So when you're on holiday, you can work out, do your cardio bits and what's this? <laughs> so I know what this does. So accommodation goes, this side is so much better compared to where I am. Maybe you pay a little bit extra. These uh, club rooms, I'm not sure. There is an Avery here. It's really random having that here like this. It looks better than the side I'm staying on. Wow, just seeing that uh, big support for the building there. Slightly worrying. Well, it's good they've put it there, but not something you really want to see when you come on holiday, is it? Some people have also commented about the fact that they feel like a, a bit of a prison with barbed wire 
Obviously they've got to keep security on the park. I guess it could be a little bit nicer. So Pontins canvas sands. Let's start with the room first of all. The cooker and the fridge, well, I think they need to be thrown out because I've never really seen that kind of rust on a cooker or a fridge before. Uh, the bedrooms themselves, not too bad. I know the heating looks a little bit dodgy and the mattresses, and there is a big thing with crumbs in this apartment. There's like crumbs on the floor, there's crumbs on the side, there's crumbs on the mattress, there's crumbs on the sofa, there's crumbs on the bedding. What's that all about? Was the cleaner eating a packet of crackers? So for the rest of the site, the go-karts completely confused me. It doesn't look like I've been used in a while. I could be totally wrong. Obviously, when I was here, I think the go-karts were closed. Whether or not they've been used, I'm not quite sure. They have invested a little bit into the park. New signage and that dinosaur thing was pretty cool for the kids. The entertainment complex, well, that's aging as most of them are but you can't knock the entertainment here at Pontins. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget click here for the worst rated hotels or click here for more worst rated holiday parks. I'll see you next time.